Let's review this particular problem, which is a very interesting and important problem in which the indine is undergoing reaction with hydrogen peroxide in the first step. In the second step, treatment with sulfuric acid in acetonitrile. And in the third step, it is reacting with water. So indine in the first step, it leads to the formation of an epoxide, which is again racemic in nature when treated with hydrogen peroxide and the second step is the most important step which leads to the formation of this particular compound when treated with sulfuric acid and acetonitrile and this is the mechanism via which the reaction takes place so sulfuric acid what it does it protonates the oxygen of the epoxide the acetonitrile reaches selectively opens from this benzylic position because the carbocation here can be stabilized by aromatic group this particular aromatic group it easily involves in the conjugation whereas if the opening happens from the other side it the carbocation cannot be stabilized by resonance that is the reason why acetonitrile exclusively attacks from this side leading to, leading to the formation of this intermediate the oxygen it attacks the aluminium ion in an intramolecular fashion which leads to the formation of this intermediate once this intermediate is, is formed which is an imine cyclic imine right which in presence of water can be easily hydrolyzed leading to the formation of 1 2 diamino alcohol so the correct option in this case is option number 4 and this is a very important problem